This is concerning. I didn't realize the infestation was so prevalent in this area of the facility. You don't have any way to detect it in advance. I only have limited access to the station's internal sensors, which at the moment aren't even fully operational. You mind telling us just what the hell happened here? There was a biomass outbreak. I'll bet it's your attention to detail that sets you apart from all the other AIs. There's not much more I can tell you without violating my directives. Well, what about the crew? Are they really all gone? All 118 souls aboard the station have either perished or were evacuated. So then, what the hell are we doing here? After your unexpected arrival aboard the Astrea, I was directed to bring you somewhere safe. This is safe? Well, the habitat was safe at the time. Now the ship is our only option. Brilliant. This door is completely disconnected from the power grid. It will need an external power source. Like a battery? Precisely. How much farther, you know? Nearly there. The security room is just on the other side of this depot. I assume we'll find more tick swarms? Technically, the correct term for a group of ticks is a murder. Appropriate. I suppose. I always found the term a little too on the nose. Quite a sizable crane. It also has greater freedom of movement capable of sliding in four directions rather than just two. Shields at 95%.
If you look up, there is a second set of rails attached to the crane. Utilizing both rails should allow you to position the crane nearly anywhere in the room. handle Jack. Getting to be quite the tick expert, are we? I imagine navigating a gauntlet of tick infested corridors would make anyone an expert. Actually, it would probably just kill them. Either way, well done. Juno, you said earlier that you were directed to bring us here. That's correct. Directed by who? I get it. You can't answer that. Let's just focus on getting you to safety. I suspect much will be made clear once we have you secure aboard the ship. Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all its might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all, I'd say things are going pretty well. Listen, why don't I keep this little bugger occupied while you deal with the one on the door? Do you know you can help him out there, right? I believe so. Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? The tick is siphoning power from the disposal unit. You'll have to use the manual ejection switch. Take to exit. Way to go, Jack. Just one more to go. Is there some way to open these shutters? The controls are inoperable. I can't just... Oh, I must say, you made that look incredibly easy. He does that. The creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Is there some way to open these shutters? The controls are inoperable. I can't just force them open? Liv, come over to the door. Whatever you need. Could you move back? Yeah, I'll back off.
It seems likely this form of biothread is closely related to the spore variant we are more familiar with. It's amazing that despite all the odds, they somehow got uglier. That's it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Nicely done. Now, Juno, if you would, please. Jack, I need you to repower the door so I can open it. Appreciate it. Are you all right? Of course. Somehow I managed to make it through the loading bay unscathed. Was that a brag I just heard? Well, it was rather remarkable. Don't encourage him. The important thing is we're finally clear of the biomass. Um, Captain Rhodes. What is it? More biomass. Oh, Juno. You're kidding me right now with this. No, you're not kidding. Not to worry, Captain. I already have a solution. While sorting through the station's database, I managed to locate a set of design specs for a protective EVA suit. An EVA suit? With an air supply? A limited air supply. We'll still want to get you to a stable environment as soon as possible. More importantly, the suit will provide limited protection against the biomass. I've already queued up the schematic. All you have to do is enter the fabricator, and we can begin. Uh, can't we just print the suit and I'll put it on out here? The fabricator will perfectly form the suit to fit your body. It only takes a moment. Okay... What do you think? Bit of a step up, wouldn't you say? I'd say it's on the same level as your previous EVA suit. You mean minus the cracked helmet and all the duct tape? Well, when you put it that way, yes, it's absolutely an improvement. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Give me a moment to open the door. The ship is just up ahead. Oh, I almost forgot how nauseating this stuff looks up close. No cause for alarm. Your suit's filtration system is designed specifically to handle airborne contaminants. You'll remain safe as long as direct contact is avoided. I was more worried about my eyes, actually. Is the ship not connected to the station? Given the risk of contamination, the ship remains severed from the facility. Only under the most extreme circumstances... Uh, I'd say this qualifies. Of course, Captain. Stand by while I extend the gangway. Once inside, I suggest making your way to the bridge. From there... Yeah, I'm familiar. From the cockpit, I can use the number two engineering panel to cycle the reactor and bring the ship online. Juno, are you not coming with us? All the power disruptions have rendered me unable to connect to the ship's mainframe. Once the power levels normalize, I should be able to join you on board. Good luck. Mm -hmm. 